Capacity increase has become an important topic with many of our clients. We try to get the capacity improvement inside the current factory so the client doesn't have to go change and buy and build expensive new real estate when they can actually use the same factory they have right now and by doing special techniques and doing some different things they can improve capacity greatly. One way to improve capacity is through proper planning making sure the right material is at the right place at the right time through a good planning structure is important to improving capacity. Too often materials or products are built on the line at times when they don't belong with each other and it slows the line down. So using some planning software that's extremely inexpensive and some very good young Chinese developers have developed and we've used them and they're great can help you improve your productivity simply and cheaply without doing anything at all to your factory. Many Chinese factories have just grown organically. They started small and slowly but surely they added machines, they added people, they added other things to get to some of the capacity where they're at now. And instead of having a really good nice manufacturing production flow, they have sort of a little squares all over the place and the production flow is, is sometimes inhibiting each other. Going out and having an analysis done on how your factory can be relayed out with the current machines you have and the current people you have but in a much more dynamic flow will improve your capacity greatly. Improving manpower efficiency so that your line is laid out properly is an important way to increase capacity. Often, as we've said before, three seconds per minute of value-added work can be turned into 30 seconds per minute of value-added work or even higher. And doing that allows the operator to actually do more pieces per hour than before. This improves your capacity without increasing the number of people. We've had more than 35, 45, 50 percent improvements and in some factories four times to eight times the capacity using the exact same facility they have just by reorganizing the workstations, improving the efficiency and having more value added work done by the operators on the line. Obviously you have to get the material to the line on time so that the operator isn't waiting for it or the operator doesn't have to walk to it. Sometimes by just using a simple cart walking around and making sure that the line person always has the amount of work he needs and the amount of material he needs for maybe 30 minutes to an hour will constantly keep that person working. He won't have to stop working. And usually that only takes one or two people in a medium sized factory to, to continue to supply the line from the warehouse on a regular basis. Again, putting in a good manufacturing flow, reorganizing the line, and then having the material flow to support that, again, gives you some of those superior results in capacity improvement. Packaging is a special bottleneck we've seen in China, and that's sort of why we've left it for last. Most factories that we've been to use packaging on the floor. The people are sitting on the floor, sitting in little chairs, and they're trying to stuff things in boxes instead of having the packaging right on the line as part of the regular manufacturing process. To relay out your packaging line and set it up in such a way that it's actually a manufacturing line will improve capacity and allow you to not have material problems and box problems and things like that due to scrapping the material, scratching material. You can treat the material, your product, in a very good manner, put it on the line, package it and get it out the door and put it right into the container. This is really the best way. In summary, reorganizing your factory from the organic growth that it had before, putting it into much more flow a good process flow, material flow, and also setting up your people so that they can manufacture on a much higher efficiency basis will improve your capacity. And again, I can only tell you the results that we've seen in working in China 
and that is anywhere from 15, 20, 50 percent in some factories, and again, one factory up to eight times more capacity coming out of it after we redid the flow and set up better and more efficient lines for the people. And again, the cost for doing this is very, very low.